Welcome. So in a couple of videos ago, we talked about arithmetic operators. We did addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now I want to add one more operation that we can do in C++ and many of the other programming languages, and that is called the modulus operator. So let's get started. Now if you recall, we had something called integer division. So if I had 5 divided by 3, which in our C++ code looked like 5 and then a forward slash 3, this gave us the result 1. And the reason why we had 1 and not some 1 point something was because this was integer division. And the fractional part, it got truncated. Now, if you recall from elementary, the way we did this division was we had 5, and then we said 5 divided by 3. And then we said, how many times the 3 go, goes into 5? And that was, okay, it goes one time, and what's the remainder? Well, there are two left, right? And then we went again and said, okay, well, how many times the 3 goes into 2? It doesn't go any times, so we're done. Now, notice that this 1, well, this that is this right here. However, we sometimes care about this remainder that we have here, right? Because this is information. We did an interior division. We got how many times did the number go into the other number, but we would also like to note what was the leftover. So this is where the modulus operator comes in. So the remainder of when you divide 5 divided by 3 should give you the value 2. This operation is called modulus, or mod for short. So when we say 5 mod 3, let me write right here, 5 mod 3, we're saying, okay, divide 5 by 3, and then tell me what's the remainder. So this would be 2, right? Now, inside of the programming language, we do not use the words mod. Instead, we use the sign percentage. Why? I have no idea. This is what they decided. They went with it, and it's what's been used everywhere. Okay? So 5 mod 3 looks like this. 5 mod 3. And that's it. This is the whole purpose of the modulus operator, is to know what is the remainder after you complete some particular division. Now you might wonder, well, what's the point of that? Well, for one, it's useful just in general thing. You might want at one point know the remainder, right? If you have five slices of pizza and three slices make up one pizza, I mean, there's some huge slices, you might care that there's still two slices left, right? You don't say, I only have one pizza. You say, I have one pizza and I have two slices left, right? Because two slices can feed someone, especially if they're these humongous slices. So, just in general, we might care about the remainder. But another reason, which is the reason that I've used it the most, is that we can limit the range of numbers that we can represent in a variable. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go look at code, and then I'll show you what do I mean. So this is where we left off last time. So let me turn this into an int, and this is going to be a result, and then this is going to be a d. And then here we had something like 5 divided by 3, right? And if we run this, we're going to get a value of 1, okay? All right, so far so good. We've done this before. So now let's try the modulus operator, 5 mod 3. This means divide 5 by 3, and instead of telling me how many times 3 goes into 5, tell me how many are left over after you figure out how many times 3 goes into 5. And this should give us a result of 2. Okay, so now I said that this is quite useful when you are trying to find what the remainder of a division operation is, right? Okay, so I also said it could be quite useful to limit the numeric range that we store in a particular variable. What do I mean? Well, let's suppose that I have the following scheme, right? Let's say that I have a variable, and I'm going to say int day day of the the week, right? And what I want to say is that the value 0 represents Sunday. The value 1 represents Monday, two, Tuesday, 3, Wednesday, and so on, right? And then I want to ask the user, the person who is going to use my application, hey, tell me a day of the week by picking one of these numbers from 0 to 6. And let's say that person wants to mess with you. They just, they just want to mess with you. And they say, you know what? I'm going to give you the value 10. So you get the value 10, and you say, okay, you are in the day 10. What does that even mean? So let's say that you want to limit the amount of choices 
that the user can give you. You want to make sure that you get a value between 0 and 6, including 0 and 6. So if I come here and I say, okay, day of the week is equal to 5, right? So and I come here and I say, let's say day of the week, and I put this variable, day of the week. When I run this, I'm just going to get 5, right? Not a big deal. And we said 5 is going to be Friday. Okay, not a big deal. Well, let's say that a person comes and says, well, I'm going to give you 10, right? I'm going to mess with you. And you say, oh, man, I need, I need a way to be safe about this. I want to make sure that, you know, I don't get an error because what am I going to do with the day 10? That day of the week does not exist. So what I could do is I could make sure that I always get a value between 0 and 6 by doing modulus 7, right? So when we looked at 5 mod 3, the remainder is always going to be either 0, 1, or 2. It cannot be 3 because remember, 3 goes into 3 again. So it couldn't be a remainder of 3. It has to be 2, 1, 0. So the values that you get from the modulus operator is always going to be 0 up to 1 less than the number we're doing the modulus of. So in this case, we will get 0, 1, and 2. So if I care about numbers between 0 and 6, then I can do modulus 7. And so now, day of the week is going to be a day of the week. And basically what I'm saying is, if you try to trick me and give me the number 10, well, I'm going to give you a value that is mod 7, and that's what you get for trying to mess with my code, right? So now we do this, and what do we get? Well, 10 mod 7 gives you a remainder of 3. So now you're going to get Wednesday. So that's basically another way that we use modulus is to ensure that a particular variable has a particular value that corresponds to a particular range. All right, And that's it. So the modulus operator is a operator that is used to find the remainder after you do a particular integer division. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you are new to this channel, check out the video series, check out the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.